Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus, she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off, you can finally touch the world. Feel it. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances, or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Oh, they just don't know you like I do. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction? I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now.